Ooh, this is not good. Ooh, I hope it's not so close. What's up, fellow citizens of the world? Jordan Patrick here, and welcome to my channel. Do you see the calendar behind me? We all know what that means. Tax season. Now, as an American who's been living abroad in France for over seven years now, oh, and I also just became French, it doesn't mean that I can just totally forget about American taxes. As an American, we do have to file, no matter what, no matter where we are in this world, we have to file our taxes each year. And although the first few years that I was in France, I was only a student, so I had absolutely nothing to pay, but now that I've been working, it's like the most stressful thing to even think about. And I'll be honest, I don't really know what I'm doing half the time, but I am, oh, hold on, that's my password, not one. <laughs> my baby. <laughs> now, I did recently turn 30, so it's time to adult. Not that I want to. And fortunately, this week I discovered something that has taken taxes to a whole nother level of easiness. And that is my expat taxes. It's super easy to use and I'm gonna show you how it's done. On y va, c'est parti. So, April 15th. This is a scary day for Americans because that is the date that you have to have paid the US if you do owe taxes. Now that's the same if you're an expat or if you're living in the States or if you are American through and through, April 15th is the day that you have to have paid the taxes that you owe. But the good news is for expats, most of us won't have to pay anything extra to the States. So they're not going to double tax you. If you're already paying a lot of taxes here in France, for example, then you're not gonna have to pay anything extra to the US. I think that the amount that you have to be earning abroad is like over $100,000 a year, which I can tell you right now, I am not even close to that. I don't have to worry about that, thank God. Well, no, I mean like I wish I was making that much. But another positive thing for expats is that we actually get an extension of two months. So we don't actually have to file until June 15th. And you'll only need to file if you reach the thresholds, which I'll put all that information in the description down below with some links so that you can check for yourself. But it's also really important that you check your monthly statements. If you did reach over 10,000 K, dollars at any one point during the year in your various accounts abroad, then you are going to have to fill out the F bar. This is a legal form that just weeds out illegal activity. And thankfully my expat taxes has this form already built into their software, which makes it super easy to fill out. I'll be honest. I don't like reach that threshold. I don't have ever more than 10 K in my account. So I don't have to do the F bar form, but if you do, then this is going to be great and will help you organize your yourself during this filing season. And now that we've established that you're an expat living abroad and it's filing season, why don't I share with you my screen, show you how easy it was to set up this account and file my taxes. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to have a little discount code if you want to sign up and use the services yourself because it was super easy. Okie dokie folks. So we got to set up our account. So we put in our email, we make a password. And then we have to verify our email by clicking this link, which will bring us back to the home page where we log in. One of the best things about my expat taxes is that for the most part, things were already selected automatically based on the majority of what people normally click on. And it gives you a lot of suggestions as well. This was the first time I've ever had to declare that I was French, which was like a cool little thing. And then you have to select the original date which you moved abroad, and in my case that was January 9th, but I had to go back and check my passport to make sure because it's been so long. And then you confirm the agreements between the data that you're providing and the IRS before putting in some more personal details. I'll admit that I usually get very overwhelmed when it comes to taxes because of all the different forms and not knowing which one is which but this website actually made it really easy and anything that you didn't understand, you were able to click on the little icon and it'll give you more information. Now I assume that I'm not gonna have to pay anything because I have the same job, I have the same salary, and I didn't have to pay anything extra last year either. I'm also still paying back my American student loans which have interest, so that does end up being a deductible. And of course I became monetized this year, so I also have to put in my freelance work, which is YouTube. So that was something new I didn't have to add last year. If 
Finally, I just have to put in my work salary and my bank information and voila! It is always great news when you don't have to pay any extra taxes and I was super impressed with how smooth this process went. So as you can see, that was super easy to figure out. It only took me about 30 minutes. That's with me kind of doodling a little bit. I have the attention span of a goldfish. I'm sure for you, it would be much quicker. As long as you have all the documents that you need ready to go, you can get it done so fast and then no sweat about it. Also super good to know, I was a little bit hesitant this year of doing my taxes early because I was worried about missing out on those stimulus checks, but Expats get those too. If you're an American citizen and you're filing your taxes, and of course that you're not making hundreds of thousands of dollars, you also get the stimulus check, which is like kind of the best news because I could really use that right now. And with all that being said, no more sweat, no more tears, no more pulling your hair out. If you're an expat living abroad, it can be super easy. And I'm gonna put the link down below if you wanna sign up for my expat taxes. And if you use JP10, you get a 10% off. Why not file your taxes a little bit cheaper and without the stress? So if you're living abroad, I hope I have helped your solution to the whole tax season. And I hope that this video has been helpful for you. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I make videos on culture, travel, lifestyle, and the French nationality. And I will see you in the next one. A la prochaine. Ciao, ciao for now. Well, like, it was really tough before if you don't own anything. Uh-oh. Oh, damn. Because I was worried about missing out on those stimulus checks.